Hi guys, welcome to Life of Gaz Freshwater Friday. This is a series based around freshwater where I try and upload a new video once a month. Hi guys, welcome to Life at Gaz and today I'm fishing out here at Stanley Villa. I've sort of neglected my freshwater fishing a bit. I've done a, a little video at the park where I caught some perch, but today, um, of course, I'm going to come out and see if I can pluck a carp or two out. Now, I'm not in my usual spot here. I've uh, come round to the other side of the lake and um, I've just cast out. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just talk a little bit about that, tell you where I've cast and um, Hopefully, see if it produces a fish or two. So now I've cast out, I've got um, the rod which is closest to us with the uh, fluorescent green bobbin on. That one is just out over by the island, just in about this sort of area. I've seen one or two fish move there, uh, so I've um, just started off fishing there. And then this one on the red bobbin, I've put about maybe 15 yards out just fishing just off the edge of the margin and what I'm going to do is bait that in a minute with a bit of pellet and uh, hopefully that's going to keep some fish feeding there. Now the um, rod that I've got cast out at a bit more distance, I'm using some PVA bags and I've got one made up just here. I've got uh, some crushed boilie, I've got some pellet and I've got a few maggots in there as well so hopefully that's enough to ring the dinner bell and get the fish feeding.
Well guys, it's only a little guy to start with, but it's a beautifully conditioned little car. I'm going to get this guy back and drop straight back in the same area.
Oh, there you go guys, it's another beautifully conditioned little fish, uh, six pound eight, so not the biggest one I've had out of here, but lovely to see him nonetheless. So as I'm sure you've seen on that last fish, um, it took quite a lot of line, yet yeah, that fish was only six pound eight. Now it was a bit of a powerful fish and it, uh, it did try and run about, but I set my clutch down a lot lower than it needs to be, so it does allow the fish to take line. As one of the things I have noticed over the time I've been freshwater fishing, is if you fish really close into the margins, and that fish wants to steam off and there's no give and that line uh, just sort of tries to stop it, uh, you tend to find the fish throws the hook or the hook pulls through. So why I keep it that little bit delicate is uh, just so I can take my time, not put too much pressure on the fish and then land it uh, without obviously it throwing the hook. So what I want to do guys, just share with you um, the baits that I'm using. I've got Robin Red's pellet, two of them on a hair rig, topped off with a couple of maggots on the hook. And uh, every fish I've had today has come on these guys. The boily bait out on the other rod hasn't been touched just yet. Oh, there's number three, it's another little guy, only about a, probably a pound and a bit maybe, so I'm going to get him straight back. Well guys, unfortunately it is time for me to pack up and go home, I was only out for the morning, but uh, three nice little carp, and uh, that was a good morning well spent there. But if you like this video, make sure you hit my uh, subscribe button down here. Check out my latest fishing video over here and my freshwater playlist up top.